Royals first of three from the stadium. Javier Vasquez on the hilltop. One gets Carlos Beltran with some high cheese. Three. Vasquez retired the first 13 he faced. Second inning, the Joker. Joe Randa goes down then in the fourth. Beltran again. Vasquez, no walks in the game. Struck out five. In the fifth, though, here's Ken Harvey, and he gets an 0-2 hanging curveball. Whacked. Breaks up the perfect game. Harvey's third of the year, ties it at one. But Vasquez allowed just two runs on only two hits in eight innings. Bottom five, second and third, two outs. Two out count. Tony Payne, tells Brian Anderson, yeah, go ahead and walk Gary Sheffield. Crowd boos Payne, and he responds with a little chicken dance. That's nice. Next batter, Jorge Posada with the bases loaded. Anderson, well, they didn't mean to walk him that time. Anderson allowed five runs on eight hits in seven. He walked seven guys. Top nine, tying run at the plate. Mariano Rivera gets Matt Stairs and then Ken Harvey. Rivera's eighth save and eight chances, and the Yankees have turned it around, apparently. They win 5-2. Pinstripes have won a season high four in a row. Baltimore Cleveland O's with four straight road wins, but Sir Sidney Paulson coming off his worst outing of the season, and he's 0-5 and, and 10 career against Cleveland. Only AL team he hasn't beaten. Bottom one, bases loaded, one out. Travis Hafner goes, he was two for three with a homer in his previous visits with Paulson. He goes with a two-run double, 2-1 two lead. He had four RBI, and then Omar Vizquel, five for nine with four RBI in his last two games. Two more RBI there, and Paulson gives up nine hits, six earned. Top six, Alex. Alex Escobar, the glove actually is all around. I love Creedence. And the Indians go on to win 11-2. Roger Clemens was supposed to be just Andy Pettit's wingman in the Astros' prize pair of ex-Yankees. And while Pettit's been slowed by an elbow strain, Clemens has been the best pitcher in baseball. The same guy who retired after last season opened this one by winning his first four starts and giving up only six earned runs. While well, Pettit got his first win as an Astro on Thursday, the Rocket had a chance to make Astros history. No Houston pitcher had ever won five decisions in April. Clemens' first career start against the Reds came in 4-0, 2.05, also trying to become the Majors' first five-game winner this year. Top first with the bases loaded, walks Brandon Larson. The Rocket walked four the first seven he faced. Lee, one nothing Cincinnati. Next up, Jacob Cruz, and Clemens gets him to win the inning. The Rocket struggling through a 33-pitch first inning. Two on in the fourth. Clemens gets Cruz again. The Rocket now five Ks away from passing Steve Carlton for second on the all-time list behind Nolan Ryan. Next up, Corky Miller. Corky! It's into the 6-4-3, ends the inning. The Rocket allowed one run on five hits in six, walked four, struck out six. One, one in the fourth, second and third for Morgan Ensberg. It's through into left. Lance Berkman scores. They wave Richard Hidalgo. Adams done throw is offline, but it's in time. That ends the inning, but Houston is up 2-1. Top seven, D'Angelo Jimenez. To second, Jeff Kent. Nice play. The Astros win 6-1. Clemens 5-0. Career win number 315, passing Gaylord Perry for 15th on baseball's all-time list. Jeff Brantley, your thoughts. Make him 9 for 28 with 4 Ks. Go to the second. Scott Rowland. That's now his 10th K against Wood and 23 at-bats. Wood, 10 strikeouts in 8 innings, 3 runs. Seventh inning, one run game. Comes down a run. Ray King. Goes wild, Michael Barrett, three for four, two doubles, scores, were tied. Ninth inning, Kyle Farnsworth in. And he walks Albert Pools on four pitches. Farnsworth gets the yank, and then he goes nasty on the cooler. Watch this, they always blame the cooler. Ah! Hate that cooler. It's a Paul O'Neill trip. Kent Merker, he walks Jim Edmonds on five pitches. The only batter he saw. Bring in LaTroy Hawkins, bases loaded. Mike Matheny struck out three times against Kerry Wood. Was down 0-2 in the count. We're now full, and we're now over. Pujol scores, 4-3. Second straight final at bat win for St. Louis. Pirates in Milwaukee. Brook Crew looking to win three in a row for the first time this year. Top one, Ben Sheets. To Jack Wilson. Wilson to left. Jeff Jenkins sticks the landing. Milwaukee up 1-0. Bottom third. Jenkins facing Chris Benson. Jenkins to center. Here comes Tyke Redmond. Full of web gems. Ends the inning. Benson allowed only one run on five hits in seven and two-third. Struck out a season high seven. Top six. We're all mind to see. <laughs> Already with two doubles, his third double of the game. Jack Wilson comes in Mondesi, three for four. Bottom seven, Brewers down 3-1, Chad Mulder, who hit for the cycle on Tuesday, grounds into the 5-4-3. And the Pirates win 4-2. Chris Benson back and healthy. He improves to 3-1 in five starts.
Anaheim at Minnesota. Twins with the best home record going. They're nine and three. We go bottom third, one nothing. Angel Shannon Stewart facing Ramon Artiz, and, and this would be a not top play nomination if we do. Blame it on the roof. Sean Figgins couldn't figure it out. Stewart, three hits, safe at first. That led to two runs. Four fellas lost it in the roof. Bottom five, 4-1 Twins. Corey Koski facing Ortiz. Hans Solo, his fifth of the year, and the Twins take a 5-1 lead. Bottom six, still 5-1, two outs, full count. Nick Puntel facing Ortiz, and that's ball four. And Well, he's not happy about the call. Don't talk smack to the home plate umpire, Chris Cuccioni. He said, hey, don't talk. Hey, I'm not talking to you. Mike Sosha comes out. Uh, got worse for Ortiz later on. And the Angels, 6-3 losers. Mariners, Tigers, first of three at Comerica. Each at O and the M's, 7-15 and lead. Top one facing Jason Johnson. Each at O, second pitch, yard. His first home run of the year, the 10th career leadoff home run. For each of them, trying to get Freddie Garcia some run support. He's had only eight runs scored during his four starts. It's not a lot. Two on, two out in the second. He gets Eric Monroe. Garcia allowed just one run on four hits in eight. One, one in the seventh. Jason Johnson appears to be a strike here to Rich Aurelia. Look, a good call, Rich. He didn't like it, and Marvin Hudson didn't like that. Bob Melvin comes up. Let's check Marvin Hudson's breaking point. Uh-oh, we're at DEFCON 1 here. And Bob Melvin, yeah, run for your life! Oh, your mouthwash ain't cutting it. The extra innings. For all Abanez, off Al Levine. Abanez is fifth of the year. He's had a lot of big hits for the M's this year. And the M's uh, win 3-1. Seattle winning for just the second time in nine games. And he's up two, one on, two out. Get out! Rubio Durazo. His second two-run homer of this game, so he's accounted for all four RBI. Third home, second and third of the season. And Doug Weckler hits the next batter, Bobby Crosby on the hand, and he gets the thumb. The ump thought it was intentional. Crosby's hand thought so also. Weckler not happy in the dugout. There's a lot of that in this show. Bottom nine. First batter, Arthur Rhodes in. Rocco Baldelli from... Dell's Lemonade. Yeah, Rhode Island. <laughs> He's up 4-1 his second of the season. Aubrey Huff. Back, back, back. Athletics lead down to 4-2. Huff's third. Ninth. Bases loaded. Two out. Carl Crawford. Swing and sway like Sammy K. Oakland wins it. 4-2 your final. Marlins, Kevin Correa making his first start of the season for the G-Men. Bases loaded. Top one. Mike Redman. Oh, Jeffrey Hammonds. You've lost that glove and feeling. Drops the ball. Marlins go up 4 nothing. Top two. Marlins up 6-2. Bases loaded. He up Choi. Eight of his 17 hits have been homers. Make it nine. That's a career high Korea. Two innings, eight earned. Bottom two. Brian Dallimore facing Don Trail Willis, who'd only given up two earned runs of the season. Willis, one inning, six earned. The D-train derailed by Dallimore. That's his first major league hit. Went off Will Cordero's glove for a grand slam. Still bottom two, Pedro Feliz facing Tommy Phelps. Bases loaded, bounces the grounder into left. That scores two. We are tied at nine. Third game in Major League history. Both teams scored nine or more runs in the first two innings. Bottom five, Grissom against Nate Bump with two on and one out. He singles to left. They hold the runners. It's loaded for Barry Bonds. You can't pitch around him now. Matt Parisho, ball two, ball three. Bonds went 0 for 2 with three walks. There's the one that scores the go-ahead run, and the Giants end up winning it 12-9. Brian Dallimore in the zone, his first career hit, grand slam. He's just the fifth player in the last 30 years to in this season. Top one base is loaded. The Mets, the worst batting average in the majors with the sacks filled. Eric Valent, well, he goes for the ground rule double. Five runs on five hits in the first. Looks like enough for Kawhi's Tyler Yates, but bottom four, it's 5-2. Bases loaded, two out. Brian Giles, oh, by Kazmatsui, the E2 score right there. They tie it, and the dads would chase Yates in the inning. Bottom five, still tied. Runners at the corner, Dan Wheeler facing Ramon Vasquez. There's a base hit. The Padres get the 7-6 win, and that is their seventh straight home win. Kazashi, 3-1 in the season, starting against the Expos at Dodger Stadium. Oh, that outfield. Hitting a combined buck 90. We flash back to 10 years ago, the Expos had a great outfield. Larry Walker, Cliff Floyd, Moises Salou, they hit 316 during the 1994 season. 
This year they got Andy Chavez, Juan Rivera, and Val Pascucci. Top four, here's Pascucci hitting zero coming in off Adrian Beltre's glove. Pascucci's first hit of the year ties it at two. Bottom four, Paul Leduca hitting 411 off Zach Day, his first home run, ending a 65 game homerless drought. In fact, it's Leduca's first home run since last July 31st. Is she the win? Expos have lost 16 of not allowed to work the plate when Randy Wolf is pitching. So he was at third base for the Phillies hosting Arizona. Randy coming off a four hit shutout of the Expos on Saturday. First up, he rings up Luis Gonzalez. Bottom three, two outs, two on. Bobby Abreu. And Bobby Abreu goes yard. Say hello to <laughs> It's fifth. Phillies go up 3 nothing. Next batter, Jim Tomey. We needed that. Pummeling Elmer descends. I think we did. Tomey seventh. And the Phils are up four zip. And Wolf makes it stick. Five facing former Red Sox great Shea Hillenbrand. Yes, he went. And then Danny Bautista in the seventh. Bautista singles up the middle Why are we showing you this because he's got a 21 game hitting streak going. Finally, Wolf with the bases loaded gets Bobby Estelea. He goes seven scoreless, gives up five hits at five Ks. Phil's win, four zip.